The content block in Notion is a really useful block when you're writing essays or doing anything with long writing scripts. But for those of you that have loads of headings, sometimes the content page can get a bit long. In this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way of creating a content page that you can toggle the size of. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. So we already have our blocks of words and the headings already set up for us. The first way and most obvious way to put in a content page is by putting in a content page block. We're using the slash command, TOC, and it'll automatically put a content page for you. And it will work with all of the headers in the page. But what we want to do is make this content page toggleable so it's not a big long list of all the headings. So I'm going to start making my content page and I'm going to turn this into a toggle using the shortcut, Control shift 7 just so that it can go smaller. Then we're going to put in all of our other headings. Because we've got a couple of chapters inside of one chapter, we can just turn that into a toggle. As you can see in the content page, conclusion is actually nested inside of chapter 5 because it's the wrong header setting. So I'm going to change conclusion from a heading 3 to a heading 2. Now the conclusion is the right heading title, the content page has actually changed, but for us that won't really make much of a difference whether it's a heading 1, 2 or 3. Now just out of personal preference, I'm going to turn the other headers into bullet points just so it's not offset slightly because of the toggle. How we're actually going to do this is by copying the link to each heading and then pasting the link into our content page word by highlighting the text and pushing Control V to paste the link. Now when you click on the linked word, it will push you down to wherever you've linked it to. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat for all of the headings that we've got. Obviously, if you're creating the content page as you're going, you won't have to scroll up and down constantly to put all the links in. And what I'll do is I'll show you in a minute a quick way to get back to your content page. So now we can get to all the headings in our page. Once we're actually at the heading, I want to be able to go back to the content page. So personally, I prefer using an emoji for this because it's just better than typing in a lot of words. So I'm going to use the arrow emoji. And then I'm just going to use the exact same principle we've just been using. And I'm going to copy the link to the content page and then paste it into the emoji. Now when we click on the emoji, it will take us to the content page. And all I need to do is copy that and paste it on all of the headers. Obviously you can move around, decorate the content page and the rest of the page as much as you want and play around with all of the links, whether you're using emojis as links or whether you want to use all the headings and subheadings, put them into toggles, it's entirely up to you, that's what's so great about Notion. Don't forget to watch this video here for more Notion tips and tricks. I'll see you there.